Unlocking unseen possibilities for unlimited growth. You're here today with Nanner Sabri and we are talking about persistence over impatience today. This is a difficult one. I personally am naturally born impatient, but I've had to learn the hard way to become extremely patient through very hard lessons. However, what we're going to debate here today is persistence over impatience. Now, impatience can be quite a constructive thing, especially when it comes to urgency. But if you're not persistent at it, you're not going to have the ability to use the energy of impatience in a constructive way. What happens to many of us is impatience puts us into a trap where we cut corners, right? We cut corners and we try to find faster ways. We're uh, getting extremely frustrated. We ask questions like, why me? Why now? Why this? And we end up going down an extremely negative path, which isn't necessarily very productive. However, the more positive or constructive side of impatience is the ability to have urgency and want to be able to focus to get a result. But that cannot work on its own unless you're persistent. And if you're persistent and you're persevering every single day towards a single objective or goal, in this particular case, your impatience will actually be very constructive and work very well for you. Your impatience will not work well for you if you're not persistent. If if you are expecting a, a cutting a corner or some magical thing to happen or something that you have tried that has not worked the way it's supposed to work and you all of a sudden get impatient and shift over to the deconstructive side, impatience will not work in your favor because you're lacking persistence. When you are persistent and pursuing, especially when you're pursuing a single objective, the power of a single objective allows your persistence and energy to be extremely focused. Ladies and gentlemen, when I wake up every morning and I have one goal for the day and I do this all the time, those type of days where I don't have other distractions, I have one goal are the days where I have the highest level of productivity. For every distraction that you have while you're trying to be productive, roughly takes 22 minutes of having to refocus before you can get to that same level of productivity. Switch your phones off, turn off your email, close the door, isolate if you want to elevate. Put yourself in the position where that persistence cannot be distracted because when you're persistent and impatience, which was inevitably will come in your way, you are now able to use it constructively.